Hi there and welcome to Medsome Viral. Today we're gonna talk about what type of camera settings is the absolute best if you want to achieve a cinematic look for your film. This tutorial is made for the DJI Phantom 4 drone, but the DJI menu settings should be quite alike from drone to drone. So let's begin. First of all, access the Phantom 4 camera by pressing this icon here. For the test video, I used the resolution 3840 by 2160. This is an Ultra HD format and should work fine with any TV screen, computer screen and so on. Also, I shot at 30 frames per second to get a more fluid type of feel while shooting my video. The frame rate is a number that defines how many pictures your camera captures per second. In this tutorial, we will be talking about frame rates between 24 to 30 frames per second. My test video was shot with 30 frames per second but you can use 24 frames per second for an even more cinematic feel. If you want to view the test video, press the link here. I'm doing my editing on an iMac, so I use the MOV format. If you're working on a Windows computer, choose the MP4 format. Choose NTSC. If you want to learn more about why I use NTSC, send me a message here on YouTube. For this type of video, we will set the white balance to auto mode. We want to shoot the film as flat as possible, so it's easier for us to do color grading, adding filters, etc. in post-production. I will be doing this in Adobe Premiere Pro, but you can of course use Filmora, iMovie or whatever software you're comfortable working with. We will leave the style settings in custom at minus 2, minus 2 and minus 2. In the color profiles you have the option of choosing from a variety of settings. We will not go into explaining each setting, but what I can say is that the D-like setting will allow you to apply more color and styles in post-production. So this is what we are going with. While shooting you will notice that the image look more grayish but this is the way it's supposed to look before color grading. If you want to achieve a similar look on your film like mine, disable the 3D noise reduction. The anti-flicker setting is helping the camera to determine whether you are shooting at a fluorescent light or not. I'm always shooting outside, so therefore I always put the anti-flicker on auto. Ok, next, always choose manual on your camera settings. This way the Phantom's camera won't automatic change or overwrite your preferred settings. Press the M icon button. ISO is what measures the sensitivity of the image sensor inside of your camera. ISO is measured in numbers from 100 and up. Keep your ISO turned low to keep the noise away and preserve the quality of your footage. The higher the ISO, the more noise you will get on your pictures. For this video I set the ISO to 100. The shutter speed is defining the length of the time that the camera shutter is open. It is measured in seconds or fractions of seconds. The longer the shutter speed, the more light the sensor inside of your camera is exposed to. For example, if you are taking pictures of northern lights, you would need a longer shutter speed, maybe 10 to 20 seconds. In this case, making a cinematic look for your drone film, the shutter speed should be shorter. The shutter speed should always be double your frame rate. So if you are shooting at 30 frames per second, set the shutter speed to 1 60th of a second. So to summarize, the filter I'm using is a ND8 filter, frame rate 30 frames per second, shutter speed 1 60th of a second, ISO 100. The size and format is 3840 by 2160 NTSC. White balance set to auto. Style minus 2, minus 2, minus 2, and the color profile is D log. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorial videos. Fly safe and let me know how your video turned out with these settings.